Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Engineering Network and also welcome to another episode of SketchUp a 3D Toolbox. Today we will talk about modeling a staircase. Now staircase is pretty common object to find in your model if you are modeling a house that are more than one stories. But there are also some of the more complex everybody objects because they have so many faces, so many steps and all of those require you know a little bit thought and time to model correctly and make sure they are the same all the way through. So before we start if you haven't subscribed our channel yet then please subscribe to my channel and also click on this small bell icon so that you will get notified when I publish a new video. Also do visit to my website Professor Sewell for daily civil engineering articles. You will get the link in the description of this video. So I have got here a very simple model that I have put together where we are going to model our staircase. So we have got a ground floor down here and then we have got on top of this room here. This right here is going to be second floor landing. So the first thing you need to know about modeling stair is those require a little bit of thought because a typical stair has certain dimensions so that each step is usually around 10 and a half inch deep right and then each step also has to be exact same height and that height is usually between 7 to 8 and a half inch. So before you start modeling the staircase, you need to do a little bit of math. You need to figure out what exactly you need to draw first. Because the first thing you want to do is sort of the base for your staircase. So just a rectangle right here. This is where staircase is gonna go. I want to draw a rectangle that's going to be basically the largest part of the stair down at the bottom. But you know I can't just pre-style this because I need to know exactly how many stairs I am going to have, how high and how deep they are going to be. As far as width is concerned, width can pretty much be anything. It can be you know 3 feet or 4 feet or more, it doesn't really matter. But in terms of how long it is in this way, and it depends greatly on the height of your staircase. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get a little bit of data about how high your staircase is going to need to be. So for that we are going to use the tape mire tool to mire the difference between this ground, the floor right here which is where the staircase is going to start and there is upper floor right here. So I am going to switch to the tape mire tool by pressing the T key. Now if you don't know how to use tape mire tool, you don't need to worry, you just go to my channel, I have already made a video on it and also I will give you the link in the description of this video as well. Ok so now start wearing right here from this corner which makes it really easy. Click once and then I am gonna go right up here and you can see that it is 9 feet. So this is 9 feet tall which is typical height for second story. Typical first floor height is about 8 feet for the walls plus 1 feet for the second story flooring. So this is how high our staircase need to go. Now to figure out how many steps it's going to take to go up there, we need to divide that height by a certain number. So I am actually going to calculate it here. So the first thing that I need to do is to convert 9 feet into inches by multiplying it with 12. So 9 multiplied by 12 which is equal to 108 inches. Ok so this is 108 inch tall. Now what I want to do here is I want to find the number of steps that's going to be between 7 to 8 inches. Because that's how high each stair thread is going to be. So let me show you a good example of it. I would like to start with 16, so let me divide it by 16 which is a good number. 16 steps per flight of stair for a typical 9 feet high first floor staircase is pretty typical and it equals 6.75 which is okay. But I want the thread of the step between 7 to 8 inches and it is less than 7 inches. So what I am going to do here is I will decrease the number of steps to 15. So now let's divide 108 by 15 and it equals 7.2 inches. 
so I will to have 15 steps between the ground floor and the second floor up here and each step would be 7.2 inch tall exactly and that's actually just about perfect like I said before between 7 to 8 inches is the typical thread of a step. Now the next step is to figure out how deep do I want each step to be in a typical stair step that is about 10.5 inches. So 10.5 multiplied by 15 because I have 15 steps and it equals 157.5 inches. So this is how deep my entire staircase is going to be or you can say that this is how long this staircase is going to be. So now I am gonna go ahead and I have all the data that I need to draw my staircase. Now before starting modeling the staircase make sure that your floor and your walls and anything that's going to touch the staircase is grouped otherwise if you are still working in a raw lines and faces mode you are gonna have to stick to everything and that's just going to become very painful for you very quickly so make sure everything is grouped after that what I am going to do is I am going to actually have my staircase start in this back corner right here so I will switch to the rectangle tool, click once and now I am going to type in some numbers, some dimensions for this rectangle and if you remember I have already made the length of this staircase and the first value that I am going to type is the length for this rectangle and it's 157.5 inches and the width of this staircase is let's say 4 feet. So type 157.5 comma 4 apostrophe sign for feet and hit enter and there we go this is the base of my staircase right here so that is going to basically be like this right here is the first step here so now if I were to take this and say use the push pull tool and you will see it just comes a one big block so next step is to divide this into multiple steps and you will remember that I actually have you know 108 divided by 15 so 15 is the magic number here which means I need 15 steps so that they will reach to the top of this landing perfectly so to do that we are actually use a new technique and it's not really the tool it's the divide function and it is located in a drop down menu it's like make a group or make a component so what I am going to do here is I am actually going to select one of the long side here of my staircase base and here this one is the longest line of my staircase base. So I will select it then I am going to right click on it and then you notice because I am not selecting multiple objects so I don't have so many options here but I do have this option right here which says divide. So if I click on that you will notice that I now have all these red squares which are scattered all on my line and depending on where I move my mouse I get more or less of them and you also notice that my dimension box located in the right hand corner has switched to the segment box. This is basically dividing this big line into smaller individual lines. It is incredibly useful because for building stairs and that's the only time that I used it actually. So in this case I want to have 15 steps therefore I want to have 15 segments. Now I could just move my mouse all over the place and will also notice that when I stop moving my mouse I will have a little pop up right here which says 15 segments and it also tells me how long each segment is going to be. The reason this is such a great tool is that each of these lines is exactly the same depth and 10.5 inches and 10.5 inches that's exactly how deep our stair step to be because we just did a thing where we multiply 10.5 inch with 15 and that's how we find out how long our staircase base is going to be. After that you divide that by 15. 15 and end up with 10.5 inch all over again so everything works out perfectly now I could move my mouse back and forth and trying to get the accurate 15 segments I am looking for but as always the dimension box except custom value so I can just type in 15 and then just hit enter and now it doesn't look like anything happened because the line still looks the same 
and if I deselect it looks the same but when I zoom in and click on it look at this it's only highlighting certain parts of that line which means that the line has been divided into 15 individual unique lines they are exactly the same length they are pretty much identical but they are their own individual pieces I can just select this one line right here and delete it if I want it to so you can do whatever you want to each of these so we have got this one side done and then I am going to do the same exact thing to the other long side so select it right click on it and click on divide and then type 15 in the dimension box so that the line divide into 15 individual lines now each one of these long sides have been divided into same exact number of segments and all those segments are the same exact depth which is 10.5 inches perfect for a staircase. Now the next step is to divide this rectangle and extrude it into 3D. The first thing that I want to do is actually let me show you what I mean here. If I switch to push pull tool, even though we have divided up these line segment here, this is still one big face. So if I pull it up now, nothing is really different except that you know we have those lines on the side because we divide them up but the top face is still one big chunk. So they have some nice texture on the side that, that doesn't do us any good. So we still have one big block. This is where it gets very interesting. So the first thing we want to do is we start to divide this thing up right but here is the trick I am not going to divide the whole thing up all in once instead I am going to do it one by one at a time so the first thing I am going to do is to pull this whole thing up into the height of my first stair step now all my stair steps are going to be exactly the same exact height and that is 7.2 inches so as I am pulling it up, I am going to enter in 7.2 and hit enter and now you will notice it is going to be exactly the right height for the first stair. So I could keep doing this but again it is switched to a big block. So the next step is to switch to the line tool and we are going to draw a line to start dividing this thing up. Now this is the reason we divide this long line into the small individual segments because you will notice that my line will snap to the end point right there and you also have these lines on the sides and it's kind of a bonus because it will give a visual idea that okay I will go right here. So I will click once and go to the other side over here and it snaps to the other line segment and it's perfect straight line and I will click and that's the perfect depth for my stair step. So dividing these longer lines into smaller lines essentially just give me guide but here is the trick. The reason I didn't use my usual method of drawing guides which is the tape mirror tool you know I could go like this and just go okay 10.5 inches this way and, and another 10.5 inches that way and it just keep going all the way down but couple of things wrong with that it's going to take much longer and once I start pulling up the rest of the staircase my guides stay right there with it my guides stay at this level but I need to keep pulling it up the guide needs to move with it so if my guide is built into the lines right here, they move with me and it's very easy, very quick. So for staircase, it's the way to go. So I draw my first line. This is now its own face. So now I can use the push pull tool again and pull this up another 7.5 inches. And there we go. And now you starting to see the stair emerge. And I think you probably guess what's gonna happen next. When we will draw another line right here, pull this up another 7.5 inch and this is where you are going to feel very proud of yourself that you did that myth in the beginning and it takes a little bit of time to set everything up but once you do have everything set up correctly you are gonna feel so good and the last step will be exactly the second story height and all of these steps are the exact same height the exact same depth and it's pretty much perfect so that is really in my opinion the best way to model the staircase 
there are thousands of different ways probably and different techniques but this is the method that i have found that gets it done the easiest and quickest way so last thing to do is to get rid of these lines on the sides here because now they are kind of individual faces so you do need all these lines here because the rule of sketchup states that a face will be created if it is surrounded on all sides by lines and we don't need this stuff on the side so to remove these lines i would like to use the eraser tool and start right here and click and sweeps all those lines and there is your staircase now building staircase is certainly requiring a little bit extra thought than most of the other models simply because you need to make the extra calculation at and it's not something that you can do it just freestyle but if you put it in the time and do the calculations then you will see a big payoff and it will look fantastic so that's it for today i hope you would like this episode of sketchup if yes then please click on the like button if you have any question leave it in the comment box share this video with your friends if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet then please subscribe it by clicking it on the subscribe button and also don't forget to click on this small bell icon because it will help you get notified when i publish a new video be sure to visit to my website professor seval for daily seval engineering articles you will find the link in the description of this video until then it's a goodbye see you in next lesson